it's nice. It is, it's good that the, uh, the striker seem to have all scored at the moment. Obviously got MJ to come on. I'm sure when he gets his chance, he'll, he'll put one away. But it's, the, it's a nice feeling for a new season for the striker to get, to get off the mark. I, couldn't, I missed a few at home last week, which I should have scored. I was annoyed. Even though I was buzzing with the performance, I was, I was annoyed I didn't score. But I can't really miss that one that Sweeney puts on the plate. Yeah, it's a superb crossing. For yeah, he's got a great delivery. He, a few went through the bat stick, but it just shows he goes for it every time and he puts great pace on the ball. And it's a, it's a real weapon having, having him come onto crossing it. And it was a perfect time to get the goal as well because Morecambe would uh, put you under plenty of pressure in, in the middle of the park during the, the first half. And you, you needed that goal, perhaps as that second goal, just to kill off the. The, the tie. Yeah, we wanted to improve. Obviously, after half time, it was it was a hard journey to get out of our legs, and it was it was tough to get going. But you know, Matty and the staff motivated us. Back at half time, we got the goal, so we wanted to protect our lead. Last year, we came here and lost 2-1 after taking the lead, so that was in the back of our minds, and we wanted to get that next goal. And, and luckily, I got it, and, and we could we could breathe a little. Uh, Lee Holmes uh, won a penalty um, midway through the first half, but there was a couple of other shouts of penalties and in the first half as well. What did you make of all those? Uh, there was two stone walls on me. One, the first one was, um, he just swung me around and the second one was um, a handball when I went to head it. I think he just put his hand in the way and just swatted it down. So it was two stone walls, so that's got to have been in his head. And then that one on Holmes, he said, sh we should have had three. Yeah. Um, <laughs> got the one though, and again, Pierce Sweeney is, is lethal from 12 yards, isn't he? Oh, he's brilliant. I mean, I'm annoyed that I'm not on him, but I can't say much when he keeps putting him away like that. I would have, would have easily got to 30 last year if it wasn't for how good he was. But to be fair, Rubes was brilliant last year, and Sweeney's is brilliant. I'm not going to say anything until, until you know, if he misses, and I don't want him to. I want him to keep putting him away because it's going to help the team, and I don't really care if I'm on pens if they're, if they're being stuck away. Um, it, it was a shift out there today, and obviously you've just had a new baby as well. Congratulations on Thank that. You. Was it tough out there on a few sleepless nights this week? Oh well, I don't think my girlfriend would like me saying that. She's done. She's done the most of it, so she's been fantastic. So I've, well, she's allowed me to, you know, get the sleep when when I, when I can, and it was nice just to stay away and uh, and get the sleep. As I've got to go back, I'll probably be up all day tomorrow now, giving her giving her a chance to catch up. But it's been it's been a great few weeks, and I know I've got two healthy baby girls, and and uh, and her mum's doing brilliantly, and it's just a lovely feeling to go out there and uh, knowing that everything's all right at home, and and you're getting all the help you need. And the club have been fantastic, Matt. He's been so good with me. And uh, whether it's a day off here and there to sort things out, and, and, it, and you're at a real family club, and, it, and you don't get that everywhere. So it's nice to just worry about the football today and, and, uh, and, and focus on winning.